Hey guys, what's up? It's Trunks, and welcome to Clash of Saiyans. On today's episode, I'm going to be bringing you guys the Week 5 recap of the CWL Lite. We had the Archer Outlaws up against the Heavy Hitters, coming out with 86 to their 82 stars. 95% on the Destruction to their 90.80. Difference being that we were able to come out with 26 3 stars to their 23. We'll go ahead, though, jump straight into the action. First up, we will have Tintin. Coming in with the 2-star on the 10v11, this was a fresh hit early in the war, so it was huge when he was able to pull this out and allowed us to save a bunch of Town Hall 10 attacks, which later turned in to the ability to go for 10v10 triples and allowing us to secure two of those, which we will take a look at next. Um, our Town Hall 9s also did fairly well um, once again this week giving us a few scouts in the end so that way those Town Hall 10s were able to get an early look to come up with some plans for the 10v10 triples. Uh, but on this one, we have Tintin starting off with the Golem Bowler strategy, basically clearing out two sides of the lanes using some bowlers uh, behind those golems with a rage spell allows them to take out a bunch of these side buildings on these typical bases that you see a lot of people running in CWL. A lot of times, the Golem Bowler strategy is a very good strategy for getting that 2-star if you're coming up as a Town Hall 10, basically using the Golem to tank while the Bowlers will clear out sides and then just having a straight shot into the Town Hall. But you can see on the top side, the Bowlers are going to be able to use their Bowler Bounce, take out a few of those point defenses on the inside of the base, and then start working their way up to snag some additional percentage. And then those Golems... Um, once again, we'll just continue to keep tanking as those bowlers keep picking off the side. He's able to sneak in a wizard on the bottom side to start help taking out some of those buildings. So that way when he enters the base, none of his troops are going to start walking towards the north side of the base. Uh, but sneaks in the wall breakers right behind the golem before the eagle is able to hit. And then he's just going to come in with a ton of bowlers into the core. That golem does the initial tanking and then the barb king picks up the heavy lifting after that. He's going to get a free spell down on that Inferno and then a heal just to make sure that all of his troops are staying up. The Bowlers are going to just start gutting the core of this base while that Barb King is tanking. And then the Queen's just going to stand in the back and slowly pick off the Hound and the Clan Castle. And then once she's done with that, she is going to step up and then just start getting the core of this base, securing the 2-star. He's able to save the ability on the Queen since she has basically just stood in the back and not taken any damage. She's going to finish off that Eagle while he has the Baby Witch on the top side, taking out some of the free percentage. Queen's still left with that ability, so you know the 2-star is already in the back. And then he's just going to use that ability to go ahead and finish off this base with some additional percentage, so we'll speed it up. He's going to end, though, like I said, with a 55% 2-star fresh hit, which was very huge in this war for us especially for the fact that it came super early in the war. Uh, but we'll go down and now and start taking a look at the Town Hall 10 action. We have Red John coming in, and he's going to take a book out of the Town Hall 9 playbook and come in with almost a Witch Slap style attack here. But he's going to start his Witches off on the side, recognizing that the Inferno Towers are not going to be able to touch the outsides of the base few healers on those witches and they will be able to make their way down the sides of the base and then he's just going to come down the core with his heroes a golem and then a bunch of bowlers behind that and that's going to be the key on this one instead of the town hall nine style of bringing a ton of additional witches to come through the core of the base he's going to load up on some additional bowlers and they're just going to gut the inside core of this base while the witches work on taking the outside to jump so he's able to easily access the whole part of this base, get through the core, gut it, get over to those heroes, take them out, get that clan castle, and then just allow those witches on the sides of the base to continue their walks down while they sit there and pick off the side point defenses. Um, those bowlers continue to work through. Queen is just standing in the back still with the ability. Um, that is going to be one of the key things in the end. The golem is going to tank as well in the core, and then once it goes down, the barb king's there to pick up the slack. Um, so that way the queen is able to sit back and continue just working on taking out the core of this base. The witches continue to make their walk around the outside, and then the bowlers are just going to just slowly die off, uh, but not before gutting, like I said, the core of this base and taking out most of it. And at this point, you can see this one is shaping up to be the three-star that it was. 
coming in, only a wizard tower left, and that is going to go down. So we'll go ahead and speed this one up as well and finish this one off for the first 10v10 triple that we had this week. So then we will go ahead, jump into the second 10v10, so that way you guys can take a look at that one. We're going to have Hisham coming in, and he's going to come in with a very similar attack, uh, just without the healers this time, but he's going to bring a whole lot more bowlers, so that way they're able to get in there and just start gutting the core of this base as well. One of the key things to note on this one is the placement of the Inferno Towers. They are all relatively close, unlike most bases that have the Inferno Tower modes at Town Hall 10. This one does not, so the bowlers are able to easily get across this one and work and take them out while the witches continue to work through the sides of this base. But he's going to start off with the golems and the witches coming down the sides with a few bowlers. And then here comes the massive amount of bowlers just coming right into the core of the base with those heroes. He's going to have an early rage down so that way they're able to work straight through. Gets a jump down already leading into that core of the base, opening up everything. He's got a baby dragon and a dragon come out of the clan castle, so poison spell will easily be able to deal with them. While the bowlers and queen work to just start gutting the core of this base. And then they're going to step up right in the core. He has a heal spell down, so that way everything coming through that first into tower, inferno tower is healed back up. And then he has the jump spell leading into the final inferno tower. The queen's going to take that off, and then the bowlers are going to just continue working on taking out some of the vital buildings in the core of this base. Pops that queen ability, and she is going to finish off taking out those wizard towers. And at this point, there are only two point defense towers left. Um, so this one is shaping up to be a very good three star. Queen eventually goes down in the core of that base, but he has enough bowlers and witches that they will continue around and finish off this base. So we'll go ahead and speed this one up just a little bit. So that way, you guys, we can get on to the next one. Uh, but I will let you guys see the full attack play out. Goes ahead, throws down that poison spell in the end, and swags it on that town hall as he goes ahead and finishes off the three star for the second 10v10 that we had this war. Set us up in a very good spot. Coming into the end of the war, um, heavy hitters, a very good war for them. They struggled a little bit on our Town Hall 11s, which allowed us to capitalize on it, especially for the fact that we were able to take out their Town Hall 11s um, relatively easily or not waste a bunch of attacks. I believe we had this one, the breakdown was three Town Hall 11s, eight Town Hall 10s, and then a fill for Town Hall 9s coming in on a 30 versus 30. Um, so... There was a good amount for us. Um, typically for a light breakdown, we run 2, 6, 8, 17. So this was a step up for us to get a few additional people in there. And being able to take out the Town Hall 11s, um, I believe we only had to waste 7 attacks um, to get 3 bases down, which is very good. One being a fresh hit. The second base we were able to take down in 2 hits. And then the third one we struggled on a little bit, but we were able to get it after the 4th hit. Uh, but that's still very good that we did not waste a ton of attacks in that area left us with a bunch of attacks, like I said, at the Town Hall 10 level, and we were able to easily just go ahead, come in, and try some variations on attacks, fine-tune them, and then secure those three stars. But next up, we have Amishan coming in. Uh, this was his first CWI war with us, threw down a six-pack for us, and we'll take a look at both of his hits, but he's going to come in very easily. Anytime you see that queen sitting very close to the side of the base and able to get that clan castle, you could easily just think of coming in with a mass hog attack, um, either suicide heroes or possibly one golem. Get them in there, take out that queen, take out that clan castle, and then just come in with heal spells and hogs all around the base. You're going to see this one. He's just going to straight up demolish this one. And I believe he comes in with a similar hit on his second style. Um, so you can see if the base is open for it, you can use pretty much the same strategy. Fine-tune a few of the troops uh, but completely demolish it. He's got five hogs and a wizard still in the bag on this one. Queen's still up in the core of the base, working with the ability still, uh, but he's going to go ahead and just straight demolish this base. We'll speed it up as the hogs are working on the cleanup. Gets those additional five hogs that are down just to go ahead and finish off the cleanup and get this one done. A uh, very solid hit for him coming in for his first CWL match with us, though. Like I said, securing that six pack. Um, very good when we can see a new guy come in and just straight up throw down some plans for us and then he's going to come in and get the six pack for us. Always nice to see that. Uh, but he comes down to the very bottom and he's going to clean up the last base for us. 
I believe they had all max town hall uh, nines or close to as far as defense wise goes. Uh, looks like this one has a few walls, but I, and heroes were slightly down. But I think this one was pretty close as far as weight went. Uh, most of the nines being close to max. But once again, queen and clan castle close to the side of the base, sectioned off by themselves. He's going to come down with a bunch of wizards, two golems. He's going to get that side cleared out for that funnel and then just have the heroes go in there as that clan castle gets dealt with. And then he has the queen right there where he's going to be able to easily get in there, have that barb king take her out. And then from there, it's going to be the hogs coming in with heal spells, just straight up demolishing this base. Since they changed it where the double giant bombs do not take out hogs, it's a whole lot easier now to just get them down, have the heal spells to keep them up and allow them to do their job. Once the key objectives are down, though, get that queen down, get that clan castle out of the way, and then you can let them easily go. But you're going to see he's going to come in on the top side with a bunch of hogs, really heavy right off the start, and then he's just going to continue bringing in hogs, keeping that core of group of hogs filled with a bunch of them, and then just having heal spells down as they continue to work around these sides of this base, though. And already you can see this one shaping up all the wizard towers on the back side. Hogs are staying in the wizard or in the heal spells while they're going through those wizard towers, so easily able to deal with those. Has the poison spell down to deal with the skellies that come. Queen's going to step up and start taking out that Barb King, so it's not able to follow the hogs. But then he's coming into the last few point defenses. A couple giant bombs, but he has a heal spell already down for them. And they're going to just continue working. Take out these last few, and you can see he's got just a massive group. Cleanup is already working from the 9 o'clock side around. Gets a few wizards down on the 12 o'clock side. Queen's still standing. Tons of hogs working back towards his main group, uh, but absolutely demolishes his base. Like I said, first war, CWO with us, throwing down the six-pack. Very huge shout-out to him. We had a bunch of other six-packs as well this war. So very good war, like I said, for our Town Hall 9s, getting us in another good position for our Town Hall 10s to secure the victory. Um, very good. We have Fairy Tale coming up next week for Week 7, I believe. Um, so stay tuned. I will bring you guys the recap for that one. If you guys have questions or comments about this video or any other ones, feel free to leave them below. I will try to answer everything I can for you guys. If you guys, though, need anything else, though, feel free to let me know. But until next time, this is Trunks helping you stay over 9,000.